Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to do a little practice in classifying our balance sheet accounts. Let's take a look. Here we go. Identify where each of the following accounts would most likely be classified on the classified balance sheet. You have A through J. Pause the video. Try this out on your own. When you're ready, come on back and I will walk through the answers. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Where would each of the following most likely be classified? First up, notes payable due in 18 months. So 18 months is longer than one year. Payable indicates that this is a liability. And so we're going to call this a long-term liability. Next up, prepaid rent. So a prepaid is something that you have paid for in advance. Someone owes you something. Therefore, that's an asset to you. That's something of value to you. And you typically don't pay more than a year ahead of time. Therefore, this would be a current asset. Next up, sales revenue. This is a trick question. This is revenue. It does not go on the balance sheet. It goes on the income statement. Not applicable. Next up, preferred stock. All stock accounts are going to go into shareholders equity. There are no subclassifications for shareholders equity. So that is the answer. After that, sales taxes payable. So payable tells us that this is going to be a liability. Sales taxes are taxes that you owe to the government and they're not going to expect you to wait over a year to pay that. So we will call this a current liability. Next up, retained earnings. Now notice it doesn't specify ending or beginning, but if you know your balance sheet well, you know that retained earnings ending is what goes on the balance sheet and it goes in the shareholders equity section. Next up, interest payable due in three months. So payable tells us that this is a liability. Due in three months tells us that it is within a year. Therefore, this is a current liability. Next up, equipment, something that you own. And these big, large, tangible purchases actually have their own special category called property, plant, and equipment, PP&E. Next up, accumulated other comprehensive income. This is one of those funny things where um, various changes in value that can't go on the income statement yet get collected. Um, and that value change um, is, affects the net worth of the company and therefore it is captured in the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet. You often see this abbreviated AOCI. Finally, additional paid in capital. Additional paid in capital arises when market forces push the, the cash you receive by issuing stock above its inherent value. Um, that is part of your shareholders equity as well. And that is it. Hopefully you did all right. Hopefully this helped you out and I hope you join me for another video.